Shapers. Today I have another little Revolution haul for you. You may have seen recently that Revolution were doing quite a few offers, I think they did three for two, and now they've done a sale. And basically I went shopping on the sale and went a little bit mad and bought a whole load of stuff. So this is what I bought. Again, I got another one of these great big super huge boxes all stuffed with goodies. So let's get into the unboxing. This is the first item that I bought and no surprise, it's a face mask. Yeah, there might be a few of these in this haul. So this one is the warming gel moisturising mask. I bought this because I have quite dry skin and anything that adds extra bit of moisture to my skin is a good thing. So I figured I'd buy this and try it out. It does actually say on the instructions, a warming sensation is to be expected. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, is that a slight warming or is that the kind of warming that makes it feel like it's burning your face off? Inside you get this little glass jar and inside it looks like there's a load of water in there and some quite big air bubbles. It looks very, very similar to my Neutrogena Hydra Boost moisturised packaging. I'll need to make sure that when I'm storing them in the same box, I pick the right one up when I want to do the face mask and the right one up when I want to actually moisturise my face. As you can bet, at some point I'll stumble half asleep over to the side of the room, grab my box and pick this thing out instead of like my Hydra Boost moisturiser and try and moisturise my face for the day with this. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, it's goopy again. Oh, this doesn't really smell of anything. It's kind of, it just smells fresh. It's not really a fruity or a florally kind of scent. Let's see. It is quite thick actually. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, that is getting warm. Oh. It does, did feel warm. It did feel warm for the first few seconds, but it kind of doesn't now. I don't know if that's because I'm filming this in the middle of a heat wave, or whether that's just what the mask is like in general, but it felt kind of warm and no it doesn't. No, it just feels like a mask, basically. Unsurprisingly, the next item of this haul is also a face mask. This one is the Jake Jamie Toffee Apple face mask. I saw this in the sale and to be quite honest I was sold, I was like, oh my god it's toffee apple. I love toffee apples. Just, ooh, I don't know quite whether I like the toffee bit or the apple apple bit. I absolutely love toffee apples and I thought that this would be a great treat for my skin come the end of August when it's just settling down into the autumn and yeah that kind of, where it's still warm but then you get that nice cool breeze and the apples are just turning ripe on the trees and the leaves are just starting to turn colours. Yeah, I thought that would be ideal for this. So this is going in my uni treats bag and it's not getting opened until then. Again it comes in a little glass jar. And I like the artwork on the top because it kind of looks like toffee and an apple and the toffee's kind of like it looks kind of like it's been dipped, so it's cool. Ooh, it smells really sweet. I haven't even opened, probably opened it yet, and it smells really sweet. Ooh, God, that's goopy. It literally looks like toffee, like literally toffee. It smells like toffee as well, like a really fudgy, vanilla-y kind of toffee. You know what it smells like? It smells like when my mum would make toffee apples. We have an apple tree in our garden and when the apples would all turn ripe, we'd quite often have a glut of them. So my mum would collect a few, make some toffee apples and hand them out to the neighborhood children. And this smells exactly like the kind of toffee she used to make in the pan. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. Really a bit goopy there. Again, it feels really rich and really quite moisturising. It smells not very overpowering when it when it gets on your skin. Like it, I can smell a little hint of it, but it's nowhere near as strong as it is when I smell it off this lid thing. So if you really don't like the smell of this, I'm get on your skin anyway because it's probably not going to linger that much. It smells good though. I had the urge just to lick it, but. I'm not going to like it. It does say quite clearly on the packaging, do not eat. Yeah, they must have seen me coming. The next item in this haul is, surprise, surprise, a face mask. 
Again, this one was in the sale and it is the Jake Jamie Mince Pie Face Mask. I love mince pies. Aren't they just like quintessential Christmas things? This one I'm going to put up for the winter for, again, when I'm at uni and the bitter winter chill of Portsmouth is just sort of like howling around the eaves of the house and my poor old face has been battered by the cold gales that swirl around it. Portsmouth's own little microclimate in the winter. It's the kind of face mask I'll bung on my face when I can hear the foghorns and when they're waking me up at 3am. But yeah. Oh look how cute that is. It's got like a little mince pie thing on the top. Like the top of a mince pie with a J on the top of it. This actually looks like mint meat from inside. This actually looks like a jar of mince meat. Like I'm not kidding. It genuinely looks like a jar of mince meat that you get on the shelves at Christmas that you make mince pies with. Note to self, don't store this in the kitchen or you could end up getting quite confused with it. Con this only. Yeah, it definitely, definitely, definitely looks like a mince. It's pie inside in here. It is quite wobbly and it is a little bit liquidy, this one. This one's slightly more liquidy than the others that I've got. Very careful, I don't accidentally spill that. It doesn't really smell like a mince pie though. It smells more clean than a mince pie. There is like a hint of spices, like I can definitely get cinnamon and a little bit of ginger, but other than that it just smells clean like a face mask. It actually smells quite similar to the warming gel face mask. Yeah, not really like a mince pie at all. Oh, again it's thick and it's bloopy. It's but again, it does feel super, super moisturising on my skin. Oh, I can smell the spices more now, put it on my skin. I don't know if it's because my skin's warm and it's just kind of helped to bring the spices out more because obviously it's warm. You know, like when you bake and you bake like cinnamon cookies and you can't really smell the cinnamon apart from when you put it in the oven, and then all of a sudden the whole, oh, your whole house smells like cinnamon. It's kind of this. Very cinnamony. Cinnamony. That's something like I need to. Cinnamony. At least I managed to say that one right first time. You know, this is going to feature heavily in my winter self care regime where I'm like in the bath, face mask on, sitting there on my phone, flicking through all the articles on the tab because why not? <laughs> self care is important come the winter. The next item I have is the Revolution Pro. Hydromat Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Red Trip. I was after something that's quite a classic wear. Obviously I've bought a red lipstick from Avon not too long ago. That's quite a light summery kind of shade of red. But I was after something that's a bit more red red if you get my drift. So I saw this. This wasn't in the sale. I picked this up for full price. However, I figured, well, why not? It does say Hydromat though. I thought it was either hydrating or matte. So hydrating stuff tends to be shiny and matte stuff tends to be well matte. I don't know. It does say it has hyaluronic acid and peptides in it. My skin absolutely loves hyaluronic acid. So I assume this will be matte, but a hydrating matte. But I guess we'll see when I'm born getting with it. Ooh. Oh my god, this like it smells like sweets, like strawberry sweets, like actual strawberry sweets. Oh my god. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> that smells really good. It's like candy cane kind of sweeties. Oh yeah, that's like massive red. It's been a wee bit wan there. This is the colour it kind of swatches, so it's kind of like a classic victory kind of red colour. This is like ideal. This is the kind of red I was looking for when I bought that Avon matte lipstick. So we'll see how this kind of goes matte. It doesn't look very matte now I've put it on my hand. It's kind of, it's ultra shiny. So I suppose it'll take a little bit of a while to dry. It might also be because I put quite a thick layer on. It does still smell. 
it tastes. It tastes like sweets as well. Oh, that's really bad, isn't it? Sitting there licking it. No, don't lick it. I wouldn't advocate actually sitting there eating this. I was just curious to see whether it actually tasted or not. It is starting to dry down, but it's not terribly matte. It's more of a glossy kind of shade. Perhaps at some point I'll do a look and I'll show you what it looks like actually on my lips. However, I have another lip product to use that I'm going to put all over my lips instead. This is my next lip product. This is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Peach Lip Oil in the colour Peachy Keen. Peachy Keen. I went to read that as Peachy Queen. I don't know why, but yeah, it's Peachy Keen. This is tiny, teeny tiny. Let's get you out and see what you're looking at. Don't drop it, it might be a good start, mightn't it? Blimey, this is quite a bold pink. When I was looking at the colours on the website, I didn't think it would be quite this bold. It's a very Barbie pink kind of colour. But I do like the packaging, I think it's kind of cute with like all the peaches on the top on the hand. Does it smell of peaches? Oh, yes, it does. It smells of peaches. Oh, that smells really nice. Like fresh peaches, fresh sun ripened peaches. Like when I go to the market and buy a pack of peaches and they've be, been out in the sun on the market tables, and then I got caught, be on the way home and I just have to accidentally have one fall into my mouth and just eat it. But that's exactly what it smells like. It does look very, very pink though. I mean, I hope it's not going to be like this brightly colored pink on my lips because I don't think that's really going to suit me. Well, campers, it's obviously not bright, 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 this colour kind of pink on, it's on my lips. It feels really lightweight and really moisturising. Like, I've never used that lip oil before, so I wasn't quite sure how it was going to be, whether it's going to be like a gloss or more like a lip balm. And it's kind of like a bit between the two. It feels like a very, very lightweight lip gloss. And it shines like one too, but it's not sticky. It's like moisturising like a lip balm, but it's not sticky, sticky like a gloss. I really like this. It tastes of peach as well, like I can kind of taste it. And it tastes really good actually, but I wouldn't recommend buying one and like eating it off your lips. It'd be not the best idea. But I do like it, it feels really glossy and really nice. This is gonna be great for like whenever I want like a lip topper if my lips feel super dry, or if I'm just having like a no makeup day and I just fancy bunging some of this on. Actually, this might also be good for winter because my lips get horrendously dry in the winter and I'm always looking for something to like stop them drying out so horrendously badly and this this just might be it so I'll keep trying this and let you know how I get on with it. While I've been applying that little lip oil this has been still drying down and it's like still shiny it's not matte matte like bits of it are matte like at the ends where I've kind of smudged it but overall it's not really matte and it is like smudging so I don't know perhaps I applied too thick a layer or I don't know but yeah I'm not too sure whether this is kind of matte it does feel hydrating on the back of my hand though but it is also coming off where I'm tapping it you know I'm not too sure of this perhaps it's my perhaps it might be better on my lips perhaps not now my Last product in this little mini haul is a brush set. When I did my testing of the Revolution eyeshadow, a few of you told me on Twitter that I hadn't got the right kind of brushes for it. Apparently I was trying to use a lip brush to do my eyeshadow with. Perhaps that's why it didn't quite work out so well. So I listened to what you said and I went on to Revolution and I bought this um, makeup artist brush set. I think this cost me about six quid. Is it six quid or was it a tenner? I know I was looking at two different ones and this is the one I went for in the end. So I've got a stippling brush, what looks like a blush brush, a foundation brush, what looks like a couple of little fluffy eyeshadowy brushes, perhaps one's for highlighter, I'm still not quite sure. What looks like an angled eyelinery kind of brush. This is going to be great for travelling because all the brushes have got like their own little pockets and then there's a little flap at the top that's going to protect the brush heads and it all kind of like rolls up. Oh, suddenly I feel like all professional. <laughs> oh, it's not very active, is it? Oh, these do feel super duper soft. Again, like when I bought the sippling brush, they do 
smell a bit iffy so they're going to be washed before I uh, use them but they do feel super duper soft firm but soft this is a blush brush and you can see it's got quite a good angle on it but there is this random hair sticking up off it hopefully I'll be able to tame that down that's better not all sticking up now again that one's also super duper soft I think this one's a flat foundation brush, obviously third liquidy for kind of foundations. Usually I use my beauty blender for a liquid foundation, so this one is going to be interesting to see what the difference is. Perhaps I'll do a side by side comparison at some point with half brush, half blender. Now these two uh, little fluffy brushes, I kind of assume these are for eyeshadow. I think this one is because it's kind of fluffy but flat, but then this one's kind of poofy and round. Perhaps this one's for highlighter. I still don't quite know, perhaps I'll have to Google it or check on their website again and see. But again, they're super soft and they're super duper fluffy, both of them are. Like, I think either of them actually would be ideal for eyeshadow. I'm going to have to test them out, aren't I? Oh, this is exciting. And the last one is this little angled, like eyelinery kind of brush. I used to I actually have one of these somewhere. I think I've got one like this, which is silicone, which I think you saw in my eyeshadowy video. And then there's another one that I've got that I had, and I seem to have lost it somewhere along the way, that I used for putting on my eyeshadow wax. Probably not the right thing, but hey, it worked at the time. And again, this one feels super, super soft, but it's also kind of fur. Well, these are leaving like a kind of sheen on the back of my hand. They're definitely going to have to be washed because I'm not quite sure if they're supposed to leave a sheen shiny bit on the back of my hand. This is what the brushes look like inside their case. Mm -hmm. This case is like actually quite well made. I kind of like it and then this bit obviously flips down over the top to protect the top of the brushes. And then I kind of assume it kind of rolls up like that and clips back together. Like this. So this is going to be great for travelling, great when I go to uni because it doesn't take up so much space. I can either like flat down in the bottom of my suitcase with the rest of my makeup or I can roll it up and tuck it in the side. I have a distinct feeling this is going to be appearing in a few more of my videos. So that was my revolution haul, my little mini haul, a mix of sale things and a mix of things that were kind of full price as well. Have you bought anything from the revolution sales or their 3 for 2 offers while they've been on? If so, let me know in the comments. So if you like this video don't forget to give me a little thumbs up, don't forget to say hi in the comments and if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing don't forget to click that subscribe button. See you soon, bye!